So the last time we talked about the Dakota Access Pipeline protests, we learned that Barack Obama had halted the construction of the pipeline. And although this was a victory, it was a short-term one because the halting of the construction is something that's only temporary. So it's not a permanent solution. So with that being said, the Standing Rock So tribe are still protesting as much as possible as though their lives depended on it because in many ways it does because this pipeline threatens their drinking water as well as the drinking water of millions of citizens in North Dakota. Now I have a really disturbing update about this story. So Common Dreams explains 21 water protectors were arrested in North Dakota on Wednesday after a military style raid interrupted a peaceful prayer ceremony at a Dakota Access Pipeline construction site. Hundreds of demonstrators have been taking part in the prayer ceremony in recent days, according to the Red Warrior Camp, traveling to sacred sites that are being threatened by the pipeline construction. Beginning Tuesday with the ancestral site where private security guards unleashed attack dogs on unarmed protesters earlier this month. Construction was halted Tuesday as a result of the peaceful demonstration. On Wednesday, police helicopters and a circling crop duster followed the caravan of cars south of Mandan, North Carolina. Now, when the police got there, they arrived in military vehicles wearing riot gear. Now, there are numerous reports of excessive force against these protesters. There are shotguns being pointed at their faces, at the faces of women and children, according to Censored News blog, and they even used tear gas against the protesters. Whoa, 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 he's got a gun drawn. He's got a gun drawn. He's pointing it at people. We have no weapons! 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 They just put the, gun, the bullets in the gun. We have no weapons! We are unarmed! They said that the road's open, but it's not. They still have it blocked. We'll go home. We'll go home. We're arresting everybody now. Everybody's running. We had a really nice ceremony, and then we looked, and um, over that way, and the police, there was a few police, and the next thing I knew, there were like 40 police, and they were all dressed in riot gear. We did exactly what we were told to do, except the ones who were in the road, just to tell everybody, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. And I've never in my life seen a gun in real life. And, and, and I've never had a gun pointed at me. And we all went, I went into shock. I think everybody went into shock. Now again, these people are not threatening, they're being non-violent, they're peacefully protesting, they're literally doing a prayer. Yet, the state of North Dakota thought that it was necessary to come in and use excessive force, to use violence against these protesters. This is state-sanctioned violence. It's horrible, and if you're appalled by this, you should be. But we all have to be cognizant of the fact that the American government, as well as certain state governments, have a consistent history of treating the Native American people badly. So this is really no different. So I want to share a tweet from uh, Jordan Marie that highlights how the sovereignty and human rights of Native American people has been consistently violated. So as you all can see, clearly this is not a new thing. So how can we help? Well, here's what you can do. You can donate to the Legal Defense Fund to support the 21 protesters that did go to jail. And second, you can share this video, or if you don't want to share the video, if you think more people would click on the article, then share the Common Dreams article that I'll put in the description box because we just need people to hear about this because the media is not talking about the fact that 
the state of North Dakota is sending in armed state actors to use excessive force against peaceful protesters who rightfully don't want their drinking water poisoned. So hopefully if we make enough noise about this, if we share this, if the story goes viral somehow, then this will shame the North Dakota government and get them to kind of lay off. But we don't know, so we have to try, because I know a lot of you can't go there to protest with the Standing Rock So Tribe. But at least what we can do is do our part by sharing this and making this a thing, so that way hopefully the mainstream media will be forced to cover it, and hopefully the North Dakota state government backs the hell off, because there's no reason why they should be using excessive force and literal violence against people who are peaceful protesters. Again, they're praying. They're not threatening anyone. They're not doing something that would warrant this type of response. So it's just frustrating that they think they can get away with it. And right now they are because nobody in the mainstream media is putting scrutiny on the state of North Dakota. But if you shine a light on it and shame them, hopefully we can make a difference. And look, we have to take a stand. We have to stop this pipeline from being constructed. And best believe that the Standing Rock tribe is going to do whatever and certainly anyone else who's not there or can't be there to protest is going to do what we can to help as well because this is it's unacceptable.